Anyone ever played the floor is lava? Always a fun time. But when a real volcano explodes, it turns out there's a lot more to be afraid of than just the lava on the ground. Let's start at, well, the start. There's hot molten rock beneath the Earth's surface called magma. It can range in temperature from about 570 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually how hot you might cook a pizza, all the way up to 1600 degrees, which would basically incinerate your pizza. So when enough magma builds up, it will push through the volcano's conduit or main passageway and break through the vent or opening in the top or crater of a volcano. Did you catch all those terms? Conduit, vent, crater. Good, because this is where it gets interesting. As soon as a magma reaches the Earth's surface, its name changes to lava. As if that weren't confusing enough, there are different types of lava, named based on how they flow from a volcano. Pahoehoe lava moves slowly and results in a smooth surface with rope-like ridges. Then there's aa lava that's kind of chunky and flows quickly, leaving a jagged surface behind. Now, even though aa flows quicker than pahoehoe, in most cases, it can still be outrun and sometimes just outwalked by humans. What's harder to escape is the lava that flies instead of flows. Lava that gets tossed into the sky is called a pyroclast. And of course, pyroclasts have their own categories too. Tiny bits of lava make up volcanic ash. This is what you see billowing from the top of a volcano. Ash is often mixed with poisonous gases to form volcanic smog or vog. It can be dangerous to breathe and can irritate your eyes. Plus, depending on the wind, it's difficult to escape. This is not to be confused with lays, the toxic haze that's released when lava hits the ocean. This steamy mixture contains poisonous hydrochloric acid. Bigger pyroclasts called volcanic bombs or lava bombs are also super dangerous. I'm sure you can figure out where the name comes from. These sometimes boulder sized pieces of lava can cause serious damage. There are still even more types of lava and pyroclasts, but to keep your brain from spinning, we'll stick with those. So yep, lots of confusing terms, but we're talking about volcanoes, and I'm okay with that. What do you think is the most dangerous part of a volcano? Tell us in the comment section below. To check out more Spot on Science, click these videos.